following exercises determine whether the lines given by the equations below are parallel, perpendicular, or neither parallel nor perpendicular. So what we have to do here is we have to analyze these two equations and see if these two lines are going to be parallel or perpendicular. So remember that parallel lines have equal slopes, okay, equal slopes. And remember that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal. Hopefully that's how you spell it. So what I need to do here is I need to then look at and find the slope of this linear equation and the slope of this linear equation. So the first thing is you might be saying, well, that doesn't look like a linear equation to me. You're right, it doesn't at the start, but if we were to do a little, you know, rejigging of the equation, we can definitely find it. So watch, let's deal with the first equation. 4x minus 7y is equal to 10. So I know that my equations generally have the form, my linear equations, y is equal to mx plus b. So I'm going to try to turn this equation into this particular form. Notice that y is by itself. So let's solve for y. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, since this is a negative 7y, I'm going to bring this on over to the right-hand side, basically add 7y to both sides. They might say, well, why are you bringing it on over to the right? This is on the left. Remember, it doesn't matter what side it's on. 5 is equal to, you know, 2 plus 3. And the same thing would be 2 plus 3 is equal to five, so doesn't matter. Who cares what side the five is on? So I realize that then that will cancel those terms, okay? And at the same time, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm also gonna, to save a little time here, I'm going to then uh, subtract out the 10 from the le uh, right hand side and bring it on over to the left. So I realize now I'm gonna have something that looks like this, four X minus 10 is then gonna be equal seven Y. I gotta get y all by itself, which means then I gotta divide out seven from both sides. So now I would be left with, and we can distribute basically the seven over each of the two terms in the numerator. Ooh, one step too far. So this is going to be like some things in life. Uh, my, so four over seven x uh, minus then 10 over seven is gonna be equal to y. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to now bring the y and make it look nice, make it look like this form. So it's gonna look, y will then equal, and let me give myself a little more room. So y is then going to equal four over seven x minus 10 over seven. Focus on what's important. We're figuring out whether it's parallel or perpendicular. We gotta focus on the slope. So the slope of this line is gonna be four sevenths, okay? Now, what I need to do is do the same process for then the second equation, okay? So let's get rid of all this mumbo jumbo and we'll just delete that delete gotta love technology so here we're going to do the same thing let's solve this bad boy for y so we got 7x plus 4y is equal to 1. isolate y by itself this time i'm going to move the 7x on over to the right because this is already positive so i subtract my 7x from both sides and i realize i get 4y is then going to equal uh, negative 7x plus 1. Why do I put this term first? Because I know my x term comes first in the equation. That's all. Now divide out 4 from both sides. And again, we can basically distribute the 4 right to each of the two terms in the numerator. So it's basically going to look like this. Negative 7 over 4, x plus then 1 fourth. And lo and behold, I kind of have this already in the right form, right? It looks nice and focused then on what's important. What's the slope? Well, here it is. It's negative seven fourths. So now what you got to do is you got to look at the relationship. Look at the relationship between these two slopes, four over seven and negative seven over four. What's the relationship? They're opposite reciprocals, right? So what do we have then? We have a perpendicular line. You want to do some math? Come on in. Ah, uh, it's bedtime, everyone. It's bedtime. Hey, buddy, come on in. Hi, Daddy. How you doing? What's this? Do you want to say hi? Hi, Kiki. Here. No, Kiki's not on. Say hi into the microphone. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Oh, you're so sweet. Can I talk? Hold on. Yeah, you can talk. What do you want to say? What do you want to say to everyone? 
Hi. That was very good. Try not to touch the mic, though, okay? To my tower? Yeah, what do you want to say? What else do you want to say? Hi, Nona. Oh, Nona's not on right now. I know normally. Hi. We, but nobody's on right now. Actually, there's actually a lot of people on right now. There's a lot of people that we can't see on there right now. Can and a lot of people that aren't actually watching this as we're recording it. But a lot of people that will see this in time. Do you want to wish them luck on their tests? Say good luck on your tests, everyone. Did they have any tests, everyone? Oh, love you, buddy. Daddy, yeah. can I do something on your tablet? Hold on, hold on. Let me just finish this one part of the problem, okay? Yeah. So we see that we have perpendicular lines. We're going to do the same process for the second one. Right? Watch how fast this is. Solve this bad boy for y. So we're going to y is going to be equal to 1, Daddy? negative 1. Yeah, 1 second, but I'm just doing a little math. Right, negative 1 third x, and that's going to then be uh, plus 12 over 3, which comes out to be 4. The second equation, when I solve that for y, it's going to look just like this. y is then equal to negative 8x plus 1. Let me just double check my math. So that's minus. That looks all good to me. Great. Now we just have to compare the two slopes. And notice they're not the same. They're not oppo opposite reciprocals. Therefore, this one is neither parallel nor perpendicular. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. And he's hitting the drumsticks. Hopefully he doesn't hit me in the head. And we will see you soon. Take care.